Hello Church family and welcome to Sunday. I hope you're able to join us this morning as we had a virtual time of church together. I hope you found uh, the songs uplifting, found it great to see Jeff as he read the Bible for us, and found the talks from Bernie and from Marcus uh, really helpful as we think about how we live out the kingdom values in our life now. I've also enjoyed actually a really quiet Sunday, being able to sit outside and listen to music and read has been a great thing for me this this uh, Sunday. I hope you found some really great things to do, uh, whether on your own or with those that you live with. Well, we're going to continue with our daily uh, devotion from Tim and Kath Keller from this book, My Rock and My Refuge, as we work through the Psalms. And today we're going to start reading through Psalm 42. Please join with me as we read. Uh, so Psalm 42, verses 1 to 5. As the deer pants for the streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the Mighty One, with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. Losing God. The psalmist has lost not belief in God, but the experience of meeting with the living God. Human beings need the sense of God's presence and love as much as the body pants for water. His first response to this dryness is to simply remind himself that it will not last. This too shall pass, is a fact about any condition in this changing, changeful world. While often painful, the truth can be used for comfort too. Though our good, thi though our good things will inevitably, inevitably be shaken, a believer's difficult times will always end as well. Only when we are safe in heaven, surrounded forever by love, unshakable, with all fear of change be gone. Hope in God, for we shall again praise him. Please join with me as I pray. Lord, I praise you for being not just a remote, nebulous force, but a living, personal God who can be known. I need your presence and love to sometimes soften my hard heart, strengthen my fainting heart, and humble my proud heart. Amen. What great words to read as we go through such a difficult time. I hope you found them helpful and I hope to catch them tomorrow. Have a great afternoon.